now let me move on to December vanilla okay so December vanilla has notes of um, top notes rum vanilla orchid jasmine hard notes vanilla spicy notes leather tonka bean rose creme brulee remember creme brulee from the body yellow the white one yes and then base notes there is brown sugar amber oud patchouli sugar and musk there is a lot going on in here and this note structure is like an exact replication of Kiali's <laughs> vanilla royal sugared patchouli yes exact same note so this yeah it's my favorite girl longevity on this is amazing Ooh. Uh, this one yeah this is my girl this is my girl this smells so good <laughs> this smells so good look this is vanilla it's creamy it's sweet it's sugared sugared you can literally smell the sugar oh god and it is so creamy you know vanilla in itself is creamy yet yeah? but this has an additional creamy note i'm guessing it's the creme brulee it's like there are dimensions of vanilla you know it's 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 it, it doesn't smell like just one note of vanilla and I, and I understand because from the notes they indicated vanilla or kid and then there was vanilla in the mid as well Ooh. this literally smells like a very what's the word i'm looking for like an oriental dessert okay that is super thick and cream with food in this thing yes they said ooh. look there is food in it but then the oud is like super 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 toned down the oud is sort of like paired with the patchouli and so it just gives you patchouli you know i don't know if you understand but the oud in here is not like barnyard it's not super animalic it's not in your face so although it is there it pairs very well with the patchouli and so it just gives you like a very earthy patchouli scent okay I mean, I've worn it, I wore it and this thing lasts because I wanted to work. I stayed at work for about 11, 12 hours and I got to my because still smell it on my clothes and to be fair, I over sprayed. You know, these two actually last very long and if you over spray, you can get like probably two days out of it, yes, especially on clothes. And I like the whole, you know, creamy, look, it smells just like the bottle. You see how this thing is creamy? It smells just like this. It smells just like this. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Let me get serious. Okay, so when you spray, like I said, you pick up vanilla. You pick up a very creamy, creamy, creamy dessert-ish vanilla. And then you pick up sugar. Like literally sugar. Like sugar, 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 sugar. Put a picture here. The notes feature both brown sugar and regular white sugar. So you can just imagine. This is sugary. It's it smells like you make your your cereal or whatever in the morning and you put too much sugar in. and then it is creamy super super creamy it's very thick and syrupy and creamy kind of lactonic you know but not some not not to the point where it gags you okay i think the patchouli and the oud keeps it from getting you know that if this didn't have patchouli and oud probably you would gag when you smell it and then also it's, it sports this um rum notes it's not super boozy but then it's there okay my friend said it smells like <laughs> my friend said it smells like baileys to her okay i haven't had baileys in a minute so skippy skippy but i guess Ooh, this is like a very if it is baileys it's like super thick and creamy okay the alcohol is toned down but yeah the rum note is there yes it is there mm. i'm actually surprised i'm fumbling with this <laughs> because this is my girl when i wore it i think after about five six hours here yeah, it was just pumping on me for my shoulders it was just pump it pump it pump it okay and it was coming at me like i was picking vividly like 
what i remember clearly like after it had settled down i was picking vanilla i was picking sugar i was picking patchouli honestly that's what i was picking this has some spices but it's like very warm Ooh. okay now that it's toning down i'm beginning to pick the oud it smells very similar to the oud that is in cairo i really remember that scent so much like i can't miss it because for a minute cairo was like my girl i don't reach for her so much anymore but like here yeah, i can't miss it so i think this might probably be a combination of the vanilla the oud and whatever is in there maybe the spices it's giving me cairo ish you know energy because cairo is like vanilla spices blah 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 yeah so now i i pick up the oud does it have notes of leather it does have leather i guess probably the leather just you know goes in with the oud and the patchouli and then form that there is just this note that um like i said i'm thinking that it's the leather the patchouli and the oud that is coming together to form that because it doesn't give you specifically oud or leather or patchouli. like it's you know sort of merged together because i told you after it died out i could just pick like three main accords i could pick the vanillic i could pick the sugar i could pick the patchouli but now that i'm you know paying more attention and trying to pick off notes i can you know smell them individually also there is a very nice floral note in it as well a very beautiful floral note that is sort of almost relegated but comes through in the mid they've written um jasmine and vanilla orchid so i mean it's gonna add to the vanilla but the jasmine it's also supposed to it's sporting notes of tonka as well but in my opinion i think i my nose is merging the my nose is merging the vanilla tonka to give me that you know like creamy vibe and then the creme brulee as well i hope i'm not confusing you <laughs> honestly i hope i'm not confusing you but look if you want to pick up december vanilla all you should know is that it has vanilla very creamy vanilla notes it has some pretty florals it has some rum notes in the opening and you know it's there in the middle so oh now i can really pick up the rum so in the mid as well and then you have your leather your oud your tonka and patchouli does it have any musk it doesn't smell very musky to me now maybe slightly but i could attribute it to anything else but oh yeah there is musk there, so yeah that's about it okay so would i recommend these two fragrances absolutely i think this would be more mass appealing than this one however because of that the additional notes of leather patchouli rum and oud it gives it you know like a niche quality so it's not your everyday vanilla scent trust me it is not your everyday vanilla scent although it is like sugared vanilla creamy da -da 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 -da. it is not your everyday vanilla scent okay this is for girls who are looking for like an extra oomph to their vanilla yeah.